In this video, I'll give you a short, a very short, crisp overview of uh, what is cash management in S4 HANA. Of course, you must be aware uh, overall. Uh, but yeah, this is just a kickstart video, just an introduction, and then I will get into details of configuration and other aspects of cash management. So this will be a very short and a crisp video. Uh, so what is cash management? That's the first point. Cash management is a key function in every organization for it to function efficiently. Of course, you know, it includes maintaining appropriate bank accounts, how many bank accounts are you using, uh, which all currencies you those bank accounts are, are they really relevant, collecting the receivables in time, and uh, of course, uh, getting your numbers right, uh, collecting money on time, and of course, releasing of cash payables in a timely manner to have your uh, credibility with the vendors. So that's purely cash management. You have to manage your cash flow, how much is in, how much is out, at what point you have to pay, let's say, let's say on 30th of October, you have to pay $1 million but, uh, off to several vendors, but your incoming is less. So then you have to manage this efficiently uh, to see how you can manage uh, in and outflow. Plus you have some reserve with you. So that's all about cash management in a, in a very simple uh, basic term. Not I'm not talking about SAP. It's just a business term. So in SAP term, uh, this is what the picture looks like. Uh, you have your SAP setting. Uh, you have your SAP S4 HANA finance solution. Uh, you connect at the bottom. You can see you have SAP. You have others. You have any non SAP system. Uh, AP and AR are being replicated to S4 HANA finance solution. Here it comes a flavor of CFIN. And then now you are giving one consolidated exposure of uh, cash management uh, to your all the system. So that is one way you put can do cash management to every system you have in your landscape, uh, which is not that uh, cost effective. Other thing is you bring all your AP and AR into one central system and then you give one exposure to the entire uh, receivables. So then on top of that, you do your bank account management. Uh, you manage your cash operation, which we are talking about. And then, of course, liquidity management. When it comes to bank connectivity, you have your payments, you have in-house cash, you have bank statement coming in, you have monitoring of all those uh, bank payments, plus you have your uh, you know uh, status of each payment, plus uh, the signatory who is signing what. And then you have to connect with SWIFT uh, to and fro plus uh, SAP FSN. And then on top, there is a treasury and cash, which is setting, which is taking care of, you know, the treasury overall treasury function. I will not get into details. This is a complete separate module within SAP treasury management. However, the concept is, uh, if you see the summary of this picture, it starts from bottom, always read this picture from bottom. Uh, you have different systems, AP and AR getting posted. You summarize it into one. And on top of that, you do your cash management, which I just explained a minute back. What exactly it is. It is all managing your cash flow in and out. That's cash management, be it SAP term, be it non SAP term. Uh, it's a simple business. You have to even if in your personal life, you have to do your cash management. You have your incoming and in terms of salary or business money, and then you have your outgoing. You have to manage uh, every month, every day. You have to do that. That's what it, we are doing here. In S4 HANA, cash management is a separately licensed tool. Uh, it consists of three components, bank account management, cash operations, and liquidity management. Uh, there, Three components are part of this. Uh, I will only explain a little bit of cash operations. Of course, uh, bank management is completely a new area. It has been a lot of change, undergone a lot of change with the, from ECC to S4. And of course, liquidity management is a part of, uh, you know, a treasury function. Throwing some light on cash operations. Uh, the role of typical cash manager consists of following tasks. They monitor and ensure all bank statement have been imported. That's what cash op managers do. Check cash position, detail, analyze, and then ensure they are in order. In personal life also you do. You check your bank account. You see, okay, I have this much money. Tomorrow there is a payment has to go out for, for example, insurance. And in the next three days, the payment has to go out for the, for the, for the mortgage. And then you see, okay, in the next five days, there is a payment is yet to come for, for example, salary. So you do all that position monitoring and based on forecast, you know the forecast uh, of your account. Perform bank transfer between different bank to balance the bank risk and approve payment approval request for bank transfers and outgoing payment. Then you ensure, okay, this is how I have to manage my money and you manage your uh, payments uh, and you sign the checks and bank transfer for the outgoing payment for your vendors. But at the same time, you have, you know, you have a receivable coming from customer. All this is done a very nice with a view, very nice view from uh, Fury apps. You see there is a Fury app. 
अप्रूव बैंक पेमेंट ट्रैक बैंक बैंक ट्रांसफर्स मेक बैंक ट्रांसफर कैश पोजीशन टुडे इज 1.32 मिलियन यूरोस बैंक रिस्क इज दिस मच कैश पोजीशन डिटेल्स एवरीथिंग इज देयर इन इन द इन द फ्यूरी एप्स वेरी सिंपलीफाइड व्यू and in cash management the data is aggregated based on individual transactions occurring different segments such as fi as dmm uh, so data is from multiple sources and has to be aggregated so that you have one exposure because you have your finance you have your sales you have your uh, procurement because at the end you have to manage cash for all your business needs so one is uh, the new concept introduced with s4 hana is flow type cash flow starts as forecast numbers first of course you forecast how much is planned to go out and how much is planned to come in and then actual cash flow happens and then it realizes flow type makes a distinction and help differentiate the forecast and actuals is it an actual flow or is it a forecast flow then you have liquidity item liquidity item indicate the business purpose of the cash flow typically includes hierarchies and are configured in cash management report so this we will talk more detail when we come to configuration planning level and planning group this is used in integration with other components such as customer and vendor data so how you are so how many customers are you going to pay receive how many vendors you are going to pay what is your plan Le level of planning you are planning at a company level or you are planning at a head office level is your procurement functional centralized or you are it is it is decentralized it all depends you know how you are what level you are planning what group you are planning so of course it is a very large concept i am just giving you the flavor uh, it is very large concept as i said if you see this picture again one more time you, it is just a one component of this whole uh, you know the treasury function and overall managing of cash bank accounts i will come with more detail this is just a kick start and introduction i will come with more details uh, as we move forward in the in all for the series of videos uh but for now i would uh, i would request you to keep on keep an eye on the channel do like share and subscribe uh, the video and any questions you have feel free to put it on the youtube ch channel comments and happy i will be happy to take those up thank you